Are you are you training specifically for worlds right now? Or are you uh, still doing some MMA training as well? No, now I stop all my MMA trains and I, I'm doing just gi for the world. Like I'm totally focused on that, you know. Yeah. So uh, we did a nice camp with Jesar Matuda, Ana Carolina Vieira, and some students. So we stop everything and totally focus on this. That's perfect. Now, I know every, a lot of fans were very excited about you being back at Worlds. I don't think your fellow competitors were as excited as the fans, though. <laughs> what, all, what went into that decision for you to get back into that competition that you've ruled for you know, five straight years you won it? So that's kind of your tournament. What led you back into it? At uh, first, like, uh, fight jiu-jitsu, it's always a passion, you know, like, I really like to do that. But once I decided to move to MMA, I, like, kind of totally focused in MMA, and I stopped my jiu-jitsu, like, the tournament. But I always keep my training with Gi. So once I moved here to um, Florida and I start to, to train the American top team, I start to do a lot of Gi with Jezer Matuda. So that's making me feel exciting again, you know, like... And we did like a nice camp together for the Panams. I was helping her for the Panams. We did a nice camp together. So like that, that's make like feel, like feel the passion again, you know, like, and I was happy when like all the time when I put my gi and I was doing like hard trains, hard sessions, like I start to feel really happy. So I got the opportunity how like I don't have fight, not yet with Invicta, I still waiting. Um, and like I was doing hard sessions with her, you know, like, so I just, I just decided why not? That's perfect. And that's all, you know, like I just put that, uh, um, as a goal, you know, and I'm really excited to be back. Yeah, that's perfect. And how different is it to go from MMA training back into pure BJJ training? You know, I think people a lot of times have a common misconception that they're really similar that if somebody is super skilled in BJJ gets somebody on the ground in MMA, it's like an auto submission, you know, but it doesn't necessarily work with that. So can you speak to how different the two training methods really are? Uh, for MMA, I was trying to focus more on my striking. So, but I, it's what I told for you, you know, like I always keep the gi, you know, I think it's really important, like as a jiu-jitsu fighter, we keep the gi and don't lose this, you know, don't lose our, what, like our base. So for me, when I like, I decided to change, I just felt like my game more, really more tight because of the no gi. I was doing a lot of no gi for the, the MMA and my condition was really good, you know. So kind of in the beginning was like, I, I need to get the time again with the gi, you know, like about grips. So I'm doing that every day again. Like I start to feel all my hands, you know, like, um, but it, I, ju I just think my, my game start to be more solid, you know, mm -hmm. now like trying to, to do jiu-jitsu again. So like the gi help always helping me in MMA and I think also like the MMA, the wrestling and the gi part, the grappling part helped me a lot with the gi. So like both together made me feel good, you know? Yeah, that makes perfect sense. And we've seen jujitsu go through kind of some evolutions throughout the years, I think it's fair to say. And like, like we said earlier, you know, it's been a while since you've been back at Worlds competing. How do you feel like the game has changed between your last Worlds uh, Championship and now entering back into the competition? Do you notice any big changes with the styles or with the styles of your competitors or anything like that? Ah, oh, for sure. I think like every year, like every tournament, like the, the level stay like higher. Um, but like I had the chance to train with uh, Ana Carolina Vieira. She's like, uh, she's world champion. She won the last year and with Jezer Matuda, so I think they bring me, they help me to bring, you know, like this kind of news, you know, in Jiu-Jitsu, and like, then it's all about like train, you know, like drill, repeat, try to understand the games, you know, like put that also on my game, you know. I also did a nice camp with um, Lucas Lepp and Brownlee Stima, so also these, you know, they bring me a lot of new information, and I was, happy to get all these, you know, I didn't stay confused with like the change, you know, also because I'm Fabio Gurjai student and he always tell us like, 
if you have like a good base, a good solid game, you know, like we are able to work with like any kind of guards, any kind of pass, you know, um, we need to have a good base. And I just keep that on my mind. I understand, like I, I, when I understand and I really try to understand all the new kinds of situations. And then, like we did uh, drill, specific trains, you know, for that be like normal for me. So yeah, for sure. Like the jiu-jitsu always every day have like news, but uh, you know, it's just train. It's just like train with people who who understand the game, who knows the game, and then we're gonna be able for do that. Right, and there's no doubt you've surrounded yourself with the right people throughout your entire career. You know, always high-level training partners and instructors. And being you were so successful, you know your whole uh, competitive BJJ career, so much success. How much pressure are you putting on yourself going into Worlds now to not just compete, but to win it again? And that was the point, you know, like once I decide to compete, I just put on my, like on my mind, like I'm going to do this for me, you know, like I don't want any kind of pressure. Like, of course, I'm doing the better camp as possible, you know, like I'm pushing myself. Because I want to be there and like do the better performance. I want to be champion again, you know. But I don't want any kind of pressure. Like um, I need to deal with that like on all my career, you know. Because like I won all, all my titles. I won uh, five times, and like all my titles was like in, the, in sequence, you know, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So like in the middle of this way, I start to feel a lot of pressure, you know. And once I decide to fight again, I told like, no, this time will be different, you know, this time I'm going to fight for myself. Like, I'm going to do the better camp. I'm going to be there to like, do the, like the better fight as possible, but I'm going to be for me. Mm -hmm. And it's funny, as distinguished as you are in grappling, kind of starting your MMA career from ground zero, you know, all the way from the bottom. What is that pressure like? You know, you had your one MMA fight so far. What was the pressure like going into that fight compared to when you're preparing for a BJJ match? Sorry, I really didn't get the I was just asking, fight. yeah, how did, how did the pressure of your first MMA fight compare to the pressure of a BJJ match? Um... Uh, I think like in BJJ, I always put more pressure on myself than MMA, you know, like, of course, MMA, we have more chance to like get hurt and this kind of stuff. So, but uh, in BJJ, probably because like I did for all my life for many years, you know, and I got a, like really good results, I start to put more, more pressure. And once I decide to fight MMA, of course, like I have the pressure, you know, like, and we are athletes, like it's impossible we don't put this kind of pressure on ourselves, you know. But it was kind of different. So the the first fight I did, like the, the MMA fight I did, you know, I, I was kind of more relaxed to do that, you know, like and just like really trusting a lot on my jiu-jitsu, you know. And that was clear for me, like I knew like I have a good grappling and that would be like my, my best option in the fight. You know, so that's it. Like in Jiu Jitsu, always like I think I put more pressure on myself. MMA, like we have the pressure, like as a grappler, like uh, to do like a good job, you know, like to, to put the fight on our situation, but it was not so stressful as Jiu Jitsu. Right. And at Flow, we're obviously looking forward to worlds, but at Flow Combat, we're super excited about your MMA career too. So, after Worlds, are you going to shift your focus back to MMA or will you stay in competitive BJJ for a while? Or what is your plan right now? Um, in the really, like, I'm waiting for a fight from Invicta. So I want to keep my striking trains because I need to get better. But also I want to keep doing a lot of grappling. So, like, I will be totally open to fight grapplers at uh, tournaments, you know. I want to fight the words no gi. And I'm open for like super fights, gi and no gi. But of course, like once Invicta give me a fight, I'm gonna focus again in MMA for like have a, you know, like do a good fight. Mm -hmm. And you've trained at some of the best gyms in the world, and I love seeing you down at American Top Team now. How does that compare to some of the other gyms you've been at in the past? Uh, it's totally different, you know, like MMA, it's, um, 
like jiu-jitsu, it's more family, I feel, you know, maybe because of the beginning of the, the history in jiu-jitsu, Grace family, you know. So I think all the teams, like jiu-jitsu team, it's more family. And MMA teams, I think, like, I feel it's more business, you know. But I have a look, like, I'm really lucky to have a good opportunity to be here. They have amazing co coaches and also, like, amazing fighters, you know. I have the opportunity to train with, like, really good girls, like UFC girls, UFC champions, um, Alex, Amanda, Nina, you know, like, all, like, really amazing fighters. So, for me, that's great, you know, like, to be here, to train with good coaches and train with high-level fighters. For me, that's awesome. Yeah, and training with, with girls like that every day, is that kind of your goal with MMA? Do you want to be in the UFC someday and contend for a UFC title? Ah, uh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. I think, like, when you have this kind of... It, it's all, like in Jiu-Jitsu, when I was in Alliance, you know, when you see your teammates be, like, world champions, you just think, like, okay, I do the same thing then they, they, they do, you know, like... I. I, I see the way, you know, like, so I just need to follow who is there, you know, like, I just need to see how they do, you know, like, and, and I'm going to find my way. Of course, everybody have, a, a, like, a different way, you know, but um, but we, we can see, you know, it's not so far. So once I'm here and, like, I have the opportunity to train off with all these girls, you know, like UFC fighters, like, I don't have another plan on my mind, you know? Like, for me, like, it's like it's Invicta and the next step will be UFC. Yep. Well, your way has worked out for you so far, I would say. You know, you, you've had a pretty good career, and we can't wait to watch you at Worlds and then beyond that in MMA as well. I really appreciate the time today, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much for the opportunity.